Hi there. This is the simple Simon Trap in the Kolly Koltanovsky system, which was one of my favourite openings as a junior many years ago. And this trap can also be called the Y Trap, since the Queen's manoeuvres and her threats seem to make the letter Y. And I'm joined by my Bedlington Terrier, Oscar, who is sitting on my knee at the moment. After d4 and d5, white plays knight f3, black knight f6. And simple, slow development by white with a move e3. This is a characteristic move of the collie. And the idea behind it is, after white has developed his pieces very slowly, white will eventually get a timely e4 pawn pushing, which will explode like a released spring. So black plays e6, and after bishop d3, black goes for the centre with c5, and white supports it with c3. So supporting the d4 pawn, knight bd7 and knight bd2. Black develops sensibly with bishop d6, and castles, castles, and queen e2 by white. Again, is supporting a timely e4 pawn thrust. Well, black has to be careful when he goes for this move b6 because the bishop is intending to get to b7 because now e4 can be dangerous. Obviously, the pawn wants to head up to e5, forking the bishop and the knight. So after d takes on e4 and knight takes on e4, the knight is hitting the bishop and black's doing okay if the bishop simply goes back to e7 or even queen to c7 allowing white to exchange and maintain a bishop's pair, but black can hold this position. If instead knight takes on e4, then queen takes on e4 and it's game over. We see the queen has made a y-like manoeuvre. The queen now is attacking the rook on a8, but more importantly it's hitting the pawn on h7 with a mate threat Black is going to lose something and it's game over. So this has been the simple Simon Trap in the Collie Koltanovsky system. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.